Good morning. We're Good so morning. glad you're here. Hey, that's what I say. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, but especially tomorrow and tomorrow because it is wine and dine weekend. Now here we are, all these tents with all the charity groups. That all just speaks to everything, and more importantly, we have a double wide tent right here for American Cancer Society. Yeah! We made it. We barely made it. We had bumps in the road. There was construction. I four ramps were closed. Look at this core memory wall. If you want to write who you're running for and stick it on there, take a picture. Oh! Yay. And look, we got lights. I will. Yo, how cool are those? This is so cool. I did my best. You didn't to tell me you got fancy and you got a double wide I now. Think I tried. You really have to tried. fight for this. We got treats. See, I wasn't vegan last year, so I have to be like, hey, well, these are my jam last year, but I got honey, but I got apples for days. I'm having one right now. And a water, too. Yes. This is like a party tent now. Look at this. Check out the link down below in our info. We're still fundraising for ACS for Dopey Weekend is what's going on, but we did fundraise for this weekend. I think we raised over $1,300 for this weekend. We're still pushing it for January Dopey. We're trying to get to uh, what is it, four thousand dollars for that, and we're almost there. We're like five hundred away. Uh, they, have, they got real fancy. We're making. We got real fancy this year. Start and then it'll tell you. What are we doing? Look here. Yeah, it'll Three. tell you, and it's gonna be a gift. So you're gonna move. Simple booth. And then Whoa. you can send it to yourself. My name's Alana. I'm six, and I'm a beauty queen. So the difference between this race and all the others before is that there's a separate section for the character meet and greets and entertainment. But this is where we'll be reunited. Too. Well, I think this is gonna, like it's gonna be separate a little bit tomorrow and the next day. But that's because it's supposed to be tomorrow because the start and finish lines are in different spots. Right. Tomorrow you start in a Magic Kingdom parking lot and end here. But today you start and end here, and it's weird because. The character main grids are kind of far from where the start line corrals are, but it's cool. Yeah, I like the vibe. I always love the energy. I feel like they were separate before, but it's just like how you walk in. Yeah, but I always love Run Disney energy. Yeah, it's always so yeah, nice. Costumes. Yeah. So this is why you gotta get here right when bag truck opens up because there's the end of the line for character main grid. Line is all the way, all the way, all the way. parted ways with um, like my friends and I'm just gonna hang out by the finish line because there isn't anywhere for spectators to cheer at the starting line so the race is pretty quick it's the shortest race 5k so I'm just gonna hang out here the temperature has dropped a bit since we first got here so that's nice it feels really cool I'm just hoping that that doesn't mean that rain is coming oh cheers to you runners uh, my two friends here with us. It's a little dark, but they're here. We've all made it. It's early. We're ready to go. We wore a blue. And we're walking this really long walk to the start line, but. I think this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, here we are. Now that is the, that's the Run Disney look and vibe that I know and remember right there. We are 35 minutes away from start in the Hikaf Corral A, so we'll see how filled C goes. But I think we're, we're like halfway through C. Okay. So we're looking at, I'm hoping like a 6.15 start. Five, ten, ten minutes, maybe tops. You ready? Excited? Ooh, I'm going to 
He's like, where are your headphones? Well, I didn't bring headphones. Where's yours? I didn't bring them. I drove. We don't need headphones. We're just going to run. You are smarter dogs than that. I think we're next. I think we're next up. It feels so good to be back in a run Disney event. So excited. And it got a lot cooler than it was. It probably dropped 10 degrees since we left our apartment. No joke. It did. Oh, and this is our corral for sure. We're starting this next send off will be us. Moving on up. There's our wonderful MCs. This is officially the start of the run Disney season. So excited. Look at that awesome sign. Disney Fall Feast 5K. Here we go. This is to me, I think this is the hardest part. Is this uphill? Look at all those runners back there. We got this big old hill, but then it's downhill, and then we're in Epcot, and then we see all the countries. First character, Liver. That's not Liver Lips. Oh, I don't know his name on the right, but Big Al. Yeah, it is. Is that? That's not Liver Lips, is it? No, Liver Lips has got those smoochy Lover Lips. Woo! All right, King Louie and Blue. Yeah, King Louie. Woo! Nothing better than some backstage views of a sleeping, living with the land greenhouse. Uh oh, speed bumps ahead. Speed bumps don't go too fast. Mile marker one, one mile down. Um, is this the line for the DVC lounge? Because this is greatly unacceptable. Oh no, it's just Chef Donald. So huge. All right, in the world showcase as we turn, turn about a mile and a half, I believe. Oh no, we got Remy himself we're getting ready to welcome his ride. Now we're going running. We're at 1.8 miles. As we pass by a sparkling Japan, we got mile marker two. Mile marker two. The wind is crazy. My hair is also crazy. Um, this this race is not chipped, so there's no tracking on Peter, but I do have his location on my phone, and I can see that they're like right at um, the very back of World Showcase at the American Pavilion. Um, kind of point for taking this out. Maybe just to point out that I should have worn a jacket. The temperature is dry, which is great, especially for race weekend and just for quality of going outside. It's been so hot lately. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. I have missed Peter at the finish line multiple times. I don't know why I wore my glasses today. That's probably the first indicator of why that happened. Um, but I am so paranoid checking his location so that I do not miss him. We're closing it down after your bathroom break at Germany. Love the music, love all the awesomeness, costumes, people loving their lives, photo pass. What are you doing, dope? Good morning to you, sir. Now we run. All right, we left up time. We're backstage, and this is where I used to walk every day during my college programs. Customer services. Test track. There's a speed bump, so I gotta, gotta be safe. And we just gotta leave. And then it's the finish line. Sarah's waiting there. Our friends from ACS are waiting there. It's super cool and breezy. <laughs> just killing it. Killing it. <laughs> what up, Flick? Saving it on the end days. Woo! Tomater. Who cares about lightning? It's all about the tow man. Tomater. I see the finish line. See the finish line. Biggest creeper shot of the of the 5k today. We got the Sanderson sisters here. Best costume I think of the day for me. We said we're running to the end, right? Let's do it. Woo! Woo! Here we go. Here we go. The medals. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! First medal of the week. Look at that. First 5k ever. Love it. Love it. Good job, guys. They did great. Now we gotta find Sarah, but. First medal down. This is my puppy. This is my comfy couch. It has been literally hours. I had one of the most insane days at work. 
So I'm gonna relax on this couch while Sarah keeps working because she's had a busy day. Watch some Ginger Runner, some of my classic motivational running videos to get mentally ready for the next two days. Why are you so cute? Oh, go watch the neighbors. This hotel is hustling and bustling tonight, and it makes me so happy. Yeah. So we got the Lou hours are getting Lou hours are getting lined up and hanging out, getting ready to get pulled over to their fun party. Yeah. And I we, forgot my jacket at home. Yeah, it's chilly. It feels. It's a Florida it chilly. Fabulous. There's still kids in the pool. Right. Because the thing is, like, Sarah and I don't think realize sometimes that like. Our bodies, to a degree, have definitely acclimated to this environment because it's like 73, but the like dew point is real low or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels so it's cold. It's like a wet. Cold. Yeah, yeah. And it gets into your bones. Yeah. But there's definitely a lot of families swimming. Did right we now. talk about what we're doing tonight? I don't think so. So we're headed to the beach for a beach party, fireworks Woo! style, with our ACS friends. So it's like everybody who has fundraised through ACS. For, for this wine race. Get to um, get invited to come out. We're gonna grab Dole Whips, I think. Right. So, like, you don't like. It's just like an option. It's like while you're here on vacation, you could come and hang out with all your other fundraisers. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And it's Halloween fireworks. We've and we've never seen it, so we're gonna see it from the shores <laughs> for the first time ever. We just went all Halloween avoiding, avoiding it, hoping to see it in person. Then we realized we weren't gonna see it in person. So now we're seeing it from the beach, and now we're super dark. This cool light setup is ours. Okay, I just did one of the coolest things. So I'm, we're like, we're getting Dole Whips, like ACS is getting Dole Whips for the whole team determination. Everybody is here. And I just carried six Dole Whips, like, tw um, twisted, twisted, swir swirled. Six swirl cups of Dole Whip down to the beach. That was nerve wracking, because they don't sit in the cup holder like they should. So I was like, whoa. Whoa. And then they were melting because apparently Dole Whip thinks it's not really cold. And it started melting. I gotta go get mine. I gotta float. And then it's electric pageant time. Uh, sorry everybody, but when we got here, there was no line. Now there's a massive line and we caused it. We caused that line. How's your Dole Whip, Peter? It's delicious. How's yours? I made a little bit of a mess, but it's really good. Oh, oh yes, Sarah needs thank you. She made Perfect a big mess. timing. <laughs> They're melting so fast, even though I tried to get them down here as fast as I could. Even though it's cold and dark. I, I said just now. I said dolebs. Dolebs don't understand that it's cold right now. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. Do you love these lights? I do. Do you love that the water pageant is gonna come by? I know soon? we haven't like dedicated time to the water pageant in forever. And this, I'm about to lay down on this and become so relaxed. <laughs> It's not late enough considering we have to drive all the way back home and go to bed. And I know, but it would have been like by the time we got home and like cooked something. Yeah. Should we confess now that our friends from ACS are gone? Well, first of all, show this cool towel they gave us. We have to confess the little mishap that happened tonight. What happened? Half the reason why we're getting the food now, because one, because of hunger, and two, because I ate something that I shouldn't have. So those Dole Whips, and you saw how dark it was on the beach, um, my Dole Whip float was a swirl. And I probably ate about the top third of it before I realized that there was I was eating vanilla ice cream too. 
and I had like sucked down a lot of the, the mix, like the dull juice. And about an hour and a half ago, my, like about an hour ago, my stomach started hurting bad. So I'm hoping that like some fries in my stomach will like help just like soak that up and get my stomach digesting it. <laughs> so I want my stomach to not be in stress in seven hours from now, five, six hours from now. But we are not getting that much sleep tonight because it is 11. Their veggie burger has roasted red peppers and arugula and all the fries. I'm gonna go with sauces. Alrighty, we are home. There was some traffic. It's 11.45, really quick. Before I do the message, I did just wanna say that the burger at Captain Cook's was really delicious. And we were talking about how Captain Cook's is kind of like a quick service of its own on Disney property, not like any of the other quick services function the way it does. And it's open 24 hours. And it's really yummy food. So if you want a hidden gem, I mean, it's really not that hidden, but I feel like we get asked a lot, like what resort should we go to? Where should we eat? All that sorts of thing. Captain Cook's is always a good idea. So we have a monthly message first. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. John F. Kennedy. The 1st of November, God gave you a gift of 86,400 seconds today. Have you used one to say thank you? William A. Ward. It's crazy. We have to get up in two hours, so... Two? Two and a half. I thought we are getting up at 2.45. Yeah, what time is it now? 11.45. That's three hours, baby. It's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>